Hey guys, what's up? This is Jordan, and I haven't made a video since I was probably about like seven months on T. I am actually one year and eight months on testosterone now. Pretty crazy, time flies by. Um, I just wanted to make a recent update because I recently had top surgery, and my time was pretty rough after top surgery. So I kind of wanted to make a video just talking about it to let everyone know that it's not the easiest thing, but you can all get through it. And in the end, um, it's definitely worth it. And I will say everything that I went through is 100% worth it today. And I am only about one and a half months post-op. So um, first I'm going to start by saying just what's up to everyone. Clearly you can see a lot has changed since my last YouTube video I have made. Um, I have facial hair growing in, still missing some patches there, um, mustache growing in, my voice is definitely deeper, um, I do have an Adam's apple, uh, I clearly have a broader shape, just more masculine look all in general. Um, other than that, yes, uh, I just had top surgery, um, I will show you guys, so I am one month and uh, about 15 days or so post-op um, with Dr. Medali in Cleveland, Ohio. So to show you guys up close what it looks like, um, as you can see, my scars are healing pretty well. I've been using a scar gel. It's called Scar Recovery Gel. Um, I had double incision. Uh, so what happened to me was on on this side uh, on my right side I actually ended up with a hematoma so as you can tell it's still kind of bruised um, it's definitely healing but it's definitely behind I would say so what happened was I had a hematoma which is basically a large blood clot that forms and when I went for my post-op um, and we took the binder off uh, this side was huge, honestly bigger than my breast was before I got it removed. Uh, super hard, swollen, my whole arm was bruised down to here, my side was bruised, uh, this whole side was just completely bruised. Uh, so what I had to do was actually go see another surgeon. Um, I had to have an emergency surgery where they actually removed the hematoma. Uh, I got to see a picture, it was about this big of a blood clot, I was like, in there basically uh, but they got it out um, basically what they had to do was reopen the incision right here and go back in and take out the hematoma so after that uh, everything was a little bit smoother um, I will say my road to recovery was tough as well uh, the day after surgery I ended up fainting and having to go back to the hospital um, because top surgery is an outpatient patient surgery uh, so you go home after you're done um, but the day after I was really sick from all the pain meds and being dehydrated um, I ended up yes fainting and having to go to the hospital with some fluids um, other than that I was pretty nauseous throwing up honestly the whole time I was in Cleveland which is about two weeks uh, every other day I would just wake up super nauseous and sick so don't worry guys that is normal and a thing um, just so you know, look towards the future, you know, just be tough and stay strong through it all and you will get there. Um, I actually finally started to got, uh, I finally am able to start working out again. So I've just been doing really light things like push-ups, light weights, um, going on really long walks, just really starting to get my endurance back. Um, I don't want to push it too hard. Uh, I still am not able to go swimming. That will be next weekend. I can actually go swimming for the first time. Um, I'm still deciding if I will. I want my scars to heal the best they can. So I just want to kind of do the least possible so that they heal the best. Other than that, I feel truly amazing. I finally feel comfortable in my own body. I can't believe that this is who I am when I look at myself and this is my chest and I mean, it's truly amazing, and for everyone out there who has supported me and followed me thus far, it truly means everything. 
Uh, I wouldn't be where I am today without your support. And for anyone else who needs support or who's interested in going to Dr. Medali in Cleveland, Ohio for top surgery, or just wants to talk about transitioning in general, uh, reach out to me. You can reach out to me on my Instagram. It is Jojo Pollock. Um, I'll type that below. And that's about it. Thanks, guys. Love you all.